Hello everybody, my name is Carl and welcome back to Pow Bam Zing. This is going to be a review of Besieged. Besieged is a physics-based building game in which one crafts medieval-style siege engines to wipe out castles, knights, and even sheep. It's an early access title that is being updated regularly, with the most recent update in November of 2018. According to the Steam page, devs expect this game to be in early access for another year at least, as they continue to add a full game's worth of content and polish. This game requires a 2.2 GHz dual core processor, 2 GB of RAM, and 512 MB of video memory. This allows just about anyone to play Besieged, although one's experience would of course improve with better hardware. This game's joy is in its simplicity. Build a machine that will destroy the objectives on that level to move on to the next. On the earlier levels, it seems trivial, and one's most simple creations can beat the level design. However, as the levels get more advanced with offensive enemies and cannons that can destroy your creation, one is forced to get more creative and begins to realize just how complicated such a simple task can be to complete. It may take half an hour to craft a machine that is perfect for one area, but on the next, your masterpiece is ill-suited for the job and you're forced to start all over. There's no penalty for trial and error. One can pit their machines against the enemy as much as they'd like and just hit the spacebar to restart again and again. There's also no currency or resource limit, just your imagination to stop you from creating the destructive siege engine of doom. There is one limiter, and that is size, as there is a transparent box to keep one from creating an overly large siege engine. In my opinion, it's a bit too strict, and I think there could be room for leniency with the size limit, but it did force me to get creative with what I could do with the allotted size. The largest frustration in this game is not the AI, story, or controls. It's physics. The momentum, weight, and weapons of your machine can be very hard to balance. There are some levels that require flight, and controlling a rudimentary siege engine while trying to aim and destroy balloons or birds is a tedious and difficult task indeed. It takes a lot of restarting, deleting blocks, adding new ones, cutting weight, or reversing propellers before one even has a machine they can just barely control. It can be frustrating, but in my opinion, this is a better type of frustration than a game that is glitchy or written poorly, as those aren't obstacles one can overcome by trial and error. When one is battling physics and not bad code, the laws seem to be more in your favor, as every time you fail, you learn a bit more on how to succeed. That's not to say the game is perfect. It did freeze on me once or twice, but did recover a few seconds later every time. And if one decided to put about 100 rockets in the screen space and shoot them all off at the same time, frames will drop pretty dramatically. But that seems to be a hardware limitation on my part. This game also has a multiplayer option which allows one to pit their machines against friends in an all-out robot arena deathmatch. This was fun, but in my opinion might be in need of some gentleman's agreement not to use certain weapons like the flamethrower, which will immediately turn any opponent's machines into a pile of ashes, even with attempted countermeasures. Regardless, it's fun to see how the ultimate creation you have mastered stacks up against your friends. Overall, Besieged has an elementary but engaging premise that will keep you playing just to see what the next level is and the challenge that lies within. I found myself saying the classic, just one more level, several times before finally getting off for the night. The price is right too. At the time of this review, it's around 10 bucks, and I've definitely felt I've got my money's worth from this delightfully simple but destructively inviting game.